I am using an 18 TPI metal cutting blade to cut a 4 inch PVC pipe. The trick to cutting any plastic pipe straight is to use the gear clamp method. Some people recommend using two gear clamps and cut between them. I think you can cut with an allowable tolerance by just using a single clamp. Let's say I need to cut off an inch of this pipe. I'm going to mark an inch at a few spots around the circumference. Take a gear clamp and put it on the side that I want to keep. Now I will take the saw and start cutting using the edge of the clamp as a guide for the blade. It is important that the shoe of the saw is pushed against the pipe and the pipe is pulled towards the saw. This will stabilize the body of the saw with pipe. If saw's shoe is not pushed against the pipe, it will start shaking when I start cutting. Now I will take off the gear clamp and clean off the pipe burst. This technique is good in the beginning, but could consume a lot of time. Your employer might not appreciate the extra time being spent on cutting pipes. For efficiency purposes, it is recommended to practice cutting without the clamp. People normally start by using a clamp or wraparound method to mark around the pipe and follow the mark while cutting. I have learned a few tricks over the years to make pipe cutting more easier and efficient, which I am going to share with you. The first step to cut a pipe straight is to start the cut straight. Make sure your blade is perpendicular to the pipe. It's nearly impossible to cut straight if you start on an angle. Pushing saw's shoe against the pipe is very important as this will ensure that your blade is perpendicular to the pipe. When you start cutting, guide the blade on the mark using your thumb and move away your thumb just before the blade speeds up. Your grip on the pipe should be tight to ensure that it doesn't fly off your hands and you do not end up hurting yourself. Make sure your cutting hand, elbow and shoulder are locked in a position and use your other hand to grip the pipe tightly. Loose wrist will mess up the cut. The most common mistake beginners make is that they try to rush through the cut. Let your blade do the work by guiding it to the mark. When cutting longer lengths of pipe, make sure your blade doesn't bind in the cut. This can cause kickback. Practicing again and again will develop muscle memory and you will soon be able to cut any pipe straight effortlessly. Now I will cut a 6 inch pipe using the same method. But before that, if you liked the video, please subscribe to our channel. And I will see you in the next video.